been a little while since I've posted anything, which is courtesy of a fractured humerus that I suffered a couple of months ago. Um, and so I thought I'd change things up a little bit today and show you some winter maintenance, uh, changing a tire, uh, or even just simply replacing your sealant. Um, I was starting to hear a bit of a rattle in my front tire, uh, courtesy of these little balls. And so it was time to uh, replace the sealant and I figured while I'm there, I may as well replace my front and rear. So I've been running 2.6s on the front and rear, changing it over 2.5. DHF and DHR. I'm going to show you how I'll do that using only a floor pump. So the trick for getting it to bead onto the rim um, is pretty simple and hopefully uh, you'll enjoy this video and we'll learn something and be able to do your own repairs. If I can do it, you can do it too. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and leave a comment. Let me know how you went changing your tyres. So obviously the first thing we're going to do is take the front tyre off let some of the pressure out and then take the tire off altogether. Right, so I'm not going to be using any fancy tools. Uh, I'm just going to use a pair of pointy nose pliers just to take the valve core out and um, just make sure there is a flat spot on there, but just make sure you're not stripping the, uh, the thread on there. Otherwise you won't be able to get your valve cap back on. Then just simply unbead the tyre. Once you've done that, just take your tyre levers and take your tyre off the rim altogether. So the sealant is probably one of the last things you need to worry about. Um, a couple of things that you need to bear in mind is first of all make sure you have the rotation of the tyre set correctly. Um, usually the tyre will have it written on there which direction that the rotation should be in. And the second thing to pay attention to which isn't really critical but certainly is one of those things that bike shops will make sure that they do is line up the logo with your valve stem. So I've got my logo lined up with the valve stem and then it's just a matter of squeezing the tyre back onto the rim. And now I just work the front over the top. And either muscle it over or use your tire lever just to jimmy it back over the rim. So I was having a little trouble before, so the trick is to actually get the bead into the centre of the channel and that will help create a, a tighter seal and in addition to that I've added some water around the rim just to create a bit more of a, a seal around the bead. So hopefully now, stick the pump on and we should be able to get a good seal going. Wait for the telltale pops. That should do the trick. Now we're just gonna let the air out again. Put our sealant in and we're done. So for the sealant, I'm using orange seal and I've got this little top up stands bottle which is about 60 millilitres. Uh, now for a 29 inch tyre, uh, the instructions say that I'm gonna need about 120 millilitres, so that's two of these bottles. So now it's a matter of just transferring the sealant into the bottle. Careful not to spill any. Make sure you give your sealant a good shake. That's one bottle in. Second bottle. 
Just grab your valve core and stick it back in. Just tighten that up with your pliers again. Make sure it's open and then pump the tire up again. Now to avoid too much seepage, just turn your valve over to the side a little bit and start pumping. I generally make sure I over pump a little bit just to make sure we get a good seal. And then also make sure you swirl the seal in around to make sure it seals the, the bead nicely. That's the wheel done. Then it's just a matter of rinse and repeat for the other wheel. Now one thing with this tyre is that the sidewalls are pretty much gone after riding Maidena and Derby, so that's why I'm replacing this one as well. Although the tread's still okay, it may as well replace it for summer season and a bit of winter riding. Now the sealant has certainly dried up in this one, so it was well overdue for replacing or at least topping up. Now I do have a bit of a ding in this rim, so hopefully it'll seal. I mean the other tyre sealed okay, so hopefully it'll seal again this time. bit tougher to get on this one. Oh well, one tire lever down. So again, just making sure that sits in the center channel. If it doesn't work the first time, I'll just get some moisture, a bit of water around there. Nicely beaded. That one's holding the bead a lot better than the first one. So you want to make sure that you replace your sealant every three to six months and top it up every month to make sure it doesn't dry out too much. Stick our valve core back in. that have about 40 psi. Now once again making sure that we get the sealant into those beads, into the grooves. And we're done.
And there you have it. Hopefully now you'll be able to change the sealant in your tyre or replace the tyre altogether. Um, just make sure that you double check the rotation of the tyre before you fit it to the rim. Um, if you're OCD and you want to make sure uh, you look like you know what you're doing, line up that logo to the centre of the valve and then also make sure you leave that valve core out before you start pumping. That'll just allow you to maximise the airflow within your tyre. Um, place the bead of the tyre into the centre channel of your rim. That will make sure that you get a good uh, seal going and if you are having trouble add a bit of water to improve the quality of the air seal um, and then when it time comes start pumping like crazy to get that tire to fit the bead listen for the telltale pops and hopefully all should be done let me know how you went in the comments below did it work for you um, and let me know what else you'd like me to cover make sure you like and subscribe and thanks for watching